stop right there. Are you okay? Who are they? Everything was happening so fast. I was, I was driving to work, then my sister was dying in my arms. Dan, my best friend, was killed by falling debris. Um, we tried to save him, but his body was too buried in crush. Rodney fell to his death in the river, trying to protect my sister from those... things. Mariah died from blood loss. Her, her legs were crushed by a fallen tree. She didn't deserve this. It was her birthday. How old was she? She was only 18. By those... things... Did you mean those monsters? Why do they exist? They were... human. Like us. They were people who fell for an awful trap. They were taken and turned to these beasts. What do you mean? Years ago, there was groundbreaking discoveries in artificial DNA modeling. It helped people with disabilities like hearing, vision loss, and curing inherited disease like cancer. But to go the extra mile, instead of having the default human genomes, they model the strains to make your physical appearance different. Have you ever seen an odd looking person? Different colored hair, different colored eyes? I still don't understand. Well, the organization who discovered this set up a business both for repairing faults in the DNA and cosmetic enhancements. Since the discovery was so popular and praised, lots of government money went towards it. It was cheaper for the public to have access to it without suffering the financial consequences. It was successful. People who were suffering were cured and had unique hair and eye colors. Since the change is obviously permanent, it will pass down to further generations. Babies were being born with modified genes. Everyone was satisfied until the original CEO of the company stepped down without telling anybody. One of his relatives said that his father was sick and dying and he wanted to be there for his remaining months. That relative would soon take over. Everything went south from there. Mass kidnapping was addressed the same day the company had shut down with no explanation. Everyone pointed fingers at him. The full investigation went on for months. Everyone who worked in the business went missing as well, including the new CEO. The police and even detectives couldn't find any evidence at all. Anyone's in disappearances. Soon later, everyone was just pronounced dead. The case was officially closed. Many friends and family of the victims were angry and wanted the case reopened. 
There was nothing they could do. The whereabouts of these victims were nowhere to be found, even overseas. I didn't learn the truth until I came face to face with the man himself. I knew who he was. I trusted him. I should have seen the sinister, the evil in his piercing green eyes. Was that the man who threatened you? Yes, he was the new CEO. He was responsible for everything, not just the victims, not just the kidnappings, everything. Everything that happened here? I don't understand. Why here? Why me? Why kill everyone I know and love and not take me with them? How did you know him? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that now I know who he really is. It's a good thing you killed him. A good thing? Never in my life would I have to kill someone. I didn't have to. It wasn't a good thing. This makes me just as bad as him, if not worse. Really? You killed a man who had a part in mass murder, a human trafficking ring, and illegal experimentation. If anything, you'd be a hero. No one will believe me. I have no evidence, even if I decide to report it. Hmm. Well, what you've been saying sounds like everyone is desperate for some sort of... Uh, evidence? To progress the investigation? Yeah, you're right. Oh no. We need to find shelter. It's getting dark. Come on. There! Is your wound okay? Are you hurting anywhere? No, I'm feeling okay. Thanks. Wasn't she trying, trying to kill me the first time we met? Hey, Richard. Are you alright? Yeah, man. You look like you've just seen a ghost. I'm fine. I had a really weird dream. More like a nightmare. What was it about? I was stuck in a fallout shelter for a few years by myself. Everyone was gone. Or dead. I don't really know. Then I became friends with that serial killer. That's weird. I think you watch too much TV, Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, why is your skin melting? Uh, what are you talking about?
to the sound of the world falling down. Empty feelings all around, too many victims to count. We need help to get out. But I don't have to stay, cause it's you who takes me away. You can me from pain, yeah, you show me the way. Oh, you help me escape. Now what's left to do is help escape. Yeah.